So hello and welcome here again to a new video and today we're going to talk a bit about the new fund that has been coming out on the Aurora blockchain and if that sounds interesting well I suggest you should leave a like, comment and subscribe because that helps out the channel quite a lot and without further ado make sure to join the discord and telegram and also make sure to follow me on twitch tv uh, where we will be live streaming some gameplay later on and yeah without further ado let's get started so the new year event we will be talking about is called Mind Games and you might have already noticed this yield farm if you are active and use stuff like DeFi Llama itself because there you can see we got a new one coming since a few days which has risen a lot in TVL since it's coming out. 241,000 currently is in the protocol locked itself and you might ask yourself what the hell is this? If you remember DeFi Kingdoms, well, it's a bit like this. Um, obviously, I'm not going to explain uh, about the protocol itself. I'm only going to look at the yield farming side of things. If you want to know more about uh, the gameplay, NFTs, and so on, uh, obviously read the documents, uh, which are very important to do so. Uh, we are only going to talk a bit about yield farming and what you can currently do and what you actually can expect with the token itself. So we need one. DAX screen page open as well to just look at the token and the price itself. So here it is and here it is. Now what can you do with this? Well you can supply, sell and we are near currently only uh, and this is the liquidity mining so this is basically like the pool before the pools because as I understood they want to do an own marketplace where you can uh, exchange and trade your assets which you can already use um, just over here and obviously liquidity will be uh, created in the longer term I guess and right now you can just farm with that and get rewards and you can see here unlocked and locked rewards so this is a bit like um, farming for some app ports and currently you can see the schedule is 28 cell per block and that will obviously go down in the future but at the moment because it's early it's quite a lot and you can benefit from that by just participating in the yield farming stuff and if we now would claim our rewards which is uh, around 423 locked, uh, unlocked and 5000 locked you will see what will happen uh, so we are going to do that and then you will see the balance will move over into the total balance which is uh, the one we already have claimed and then you can see so in total 780 have been already uh, farmed since the last few days that we have been participating in here and right now we have 34 bakuronis that we received from just yield farming which you have immediate access to uh, which you could sell and uh, yeah, move over onto stable coins again and be happy. But I'm most likely going to uh, later on collect uh, other rewards as well. Uh, if we have other rewards and continue to compound a bit into this, because I have the feeling that we are still a bit early, as you can see. Obviously, the chart uh, looks very healthy because it's early. Uh, but yeah, since the last few days, it has been created 15 days ago. So it's still a lot uh, time for it to grow or even time for the price to settle in. So I cannot really recommend you guys to buy this token at this moment simply because it is almost at its new all-time high. Uh, but yeah, just take in mind the liquidity is 270,000 with a market cap of 2.7 million and that there is still a lot locked balance which will later on get dumped. So you could say you're going to farm in this epoch and want rewards uh, get basically put out and sent out to people uh, you could say okay I'm going to claim my liquidity sell the liquidity off and move on so you will get your locked rewards in the future without suffering from impermanent loss on your uh, initial deposit because if you can take your money out with being able to print around like 800 bucks well that's definitely great and obviously you need to look at the chart what's going to happen I keep an eye on that as well and I don't know it's hard to say would you go in right now well hmm, I'm going to continue to compound it so yes I would uh, but yeah I cannot recommend you to go in at this moment but nevertheless um, that's pretty much it with mind games 
uh, currently we still have uh, our Aurora yield farming opportunities, which is Vaporwave, which we have 1,200 Pogonis almost invested into. We took the stable coins out uh, that we had, which were USP and USDC, and put that into mind games as well with the rewards that we have accumulated from Polaris Finance. So that's what I meant. At some point, you have free money, even though we wanted to bridge over. If a new opportunity comes around, you need to participate in it uh, before it's too late, you know. So at the very beginning to join is better than joining now, you know. And that's what we done. Uh, so yeah, we wait here on new vaults to be added and hopefully going to increase our balances over here as well. 1,104. Uh, 40 bucks currently on the Aspola and near so that has been going down a bit since yesterday but that's just because Polar uh, Aspola did have a price correction and you can also see that in our tokens that we have staked currently we are not even earning anything uh, so yeah I didn't uh, show that yet but that's just sometimes when the price is under the uh, TWAP at 1.1 you are not getting paid and that's actually good for the system uh, because that means the tokens are currently off pack and they cannot go further below the pack because if they are not getting printed anymore people are going to rebuy and put it back in and uh, you can see it also for the vault that's how they are working and yeah it's good to see that tree solar and tree is getting a lot of liquidity so maybe it would be a good opportunity to stack up on the one which has the lowest market cap and yeah, obviously liquidity will grow uh, if it stays in here and that would help the ecosystem also in the future but yeah nevertheless uh, also ping p where we also have a few rewards to claim the apy 417 percent almost 500 p token to claim and yeah, i'm not going to claim stuff which i'm not going to use and i don't know which uh, how much that is at the current moment so i need to calculate that later and see if we're going to compound that also into mind games uh, because our focus is at the moment mind games maybe get that up to like 1000 and then we start to take profits again and put that into origami into the stable coins and yes we are still in origami i didn't show yet simply because there's not much that did happen during the last few days you can see the balance uh, i just took out a bit of a loan just to buy myself uh, some stuff but yeah we uh, are able to pay it back the rewards almost at ten thousand. the price of ply is going down though which was a bit anticipated uh, but the apr no has also gone down a bit but yeah liquidity goes up and that's also good to see nevertheless we're going to have a quick look at juno what you can see over there is the liquidity 76 percent apr almost at 600 bucks again 44 buckaronis that we have earned so that went up also a bit with the other assets going up and yeah i think maybe the sooner or later we're going to compound those into the liquidity uh, just because i was actually not really paying attention when i always said that because we have atom and juno here and not juno and war so uh, we actually do benefit if atom and juno goes up in this pool so it doesn't matter if we would take uh, the rewards for example and compound it in uh, we would basically get the same results maybe a bit less because juno might push a few percent more than atom and so on but it's almost the same so nevertheless uh, we're going to sign off the rewards uh, let's sign everything for juno and then split the juno that we have into atom uh okay because it's doing a transaction that i cannot use it on really active on that blockchain so we take half of it put it into atom take like this off just for fees perfect and then you go over onto the liquidity side of things manage the liquidity and there you can put liquidity in 7.8 right why not 0.8 okay we just do this so yeah it's around 44 bacaronis and then we need to bond them 100% uh, so unbonding period will be 14 days so yeah, that's pretty much uh, 
good to know, but yeah, I'm not going to onboard my liquidity and there we see 639. So we are a step closer to the next 1000 and yeah, now we are receiving 10 cents more daily. So not that bad on the month. It's yeah, a few bucks, but yeah, nevertheless, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and until tomorrow.